20th place. Had a chance to take the lead here, the lead at the moment with Liu Rongqi from China. This guy's uh, 23 years of age, fourth in nationals last year. Lap Can Yuan. Soundtrack to Zorro. Just held that free leg off, I think. Yes, Triple right. Lutz. Triple Salco again, I think the free leg just stayed off. Looked to me like it stayed off, but he landed in place with an over rotation. A double double. Lovely presentation in the spins. A double. Like he just rushed his preparation and he was quite close to the boards there. Nothing looks easy for him at the moment. use of the music here as it's nice and soft and taking their choreographical elements a nice place to put them down on the triple toe loop just beginning to tired now like he's having to really dig deep now. Disappointing because it, it promised a lot at the start. But it rather tailed off, I'm afraid. And uh, I don't think Lakan Yuan is going to take over the lead. No, his style intrigued me a little bit, though, because I did feel 
like if everything was switched on and everything was right, he could be excellent. But he definitely tired towards the end. It, it just looked like his batteries ran out. Mm. And uh, like you said earlier on, nothing looked easy. It was there, but it was either two-footed or a bit scratchy or slightly over-rotated or not quite tight enough in the air. And as he tired, triples became doubles, doubles became singles. Exactly. But that, that middle section was, was quite nice choreographically. I personally, when I'm placing a program, I wouldn't have put two spins so close together. That's a personal thing. But I have to say, they both went with the music very nicely. And also with the choreographical sequence, with the spreads and the bowers, that was really nice. And the more dynamic music suited the jumps. And, and that was good. Again, that, that last jump, it looked like it was there, but I think he just caught his heel. The problem is, even though they've reduced the time now for the men from four and a half minutes to four minutes, if you're not full time, it's still very, very demanding. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th I think it would actually be really interesting to find out what some of these students are studying. We, we are looking at it from a very, very much a technical skating point of view, which we should, but we have to remember this is a university game. Yes. Well, Yuan skates for Hong Kong. He lives there most of the time, but at the uh, University of uh, Wollongong. Not sure what he's studying, but uh, that's where he is. Let's see where he is as far as this first group are concerned. Remember, he was in second place as far as this group was concerned, going into the free. I don't think he's uh, overtaken Liu. He sees he's, he's happy with that. But it's not going to do him uh, any good. He drops to fourth place. So Yu Ronqi still leads for China just from second.